Depending on who you ask, the 70s was either the coolest decade of the 20th century or the tackiest and most embarrassing. You belong As young people, we cruised Liberty Street on warm summer nights you belong in a boat out at sea. and drank 3-2 beer at El Rancho Grande in Triway Lanes. Kill off the hours. We enjoyed a wealth of terrific local bands and musicians and a wealth of great venues in which to enjoy them. TJ's Downstairs, Run away. the Arcade Tavern, the Theatrical Lounge in the old Worcester Theater, Somewhere all bright and new. I the Hitching Post in nearby Creston, Who come back. and then there's the infamous Red Baron Disco. You Throughout the 1970s and through much of its history, Worcester existed as sort of a haven from the craziness of the rest of the world. After all, it would be years before a four-lane highway connected this quiet little town to any major city. But in the 70s, we couldn't help but feel our little vessel bobbing in the wake of changing times. Factory work slowed and in the decades to come, many of its biggest factories would close and retool. Even Worcester's crown jewel Rubbermaid would eventually slip from its grip. At the beginning of the decade, Buckeye Mart and Mr. Wiggs were the only real alternatives to downtown's shops and department stores. Let your heart be your By the end of the decade, discount stores like Kmart and Nichols Discount City would further draw business from downtown. You belong in that Worcester in the 70s was a city in flux. You belong a town suffering growing pains. Flowers. A town forced to deal with economic issues and changing race relations. Far away from your trouble and worry You belong somewhere And yet, in the midst of it all, we somehow also had a lot of fun. Somewhere you feel free.